welcome to this tutorial, and today again, we're going to be learning how to enhance an image like this. Um, it's using the stock images, but um, you're going to be making skin marks, and uh, blurring it, and um, adding these flames, and a little bit of smoke just to add to the um, sort of effect. Yep, so uh, by all means, let's get started. Alright, so um, as you can tell, this already has sort of some cool uh, effects to it. Um, it has the black bars at the bottom and top, so it looks like it's from a movie. I'm not exactly sure which one. If you guys know, then you can leave it in the comments below. But um, there's not a lot that we should do, just brightness and contrast. We can fix that a little bit later, just to really bring out the colors and stuff. But first, what I want to do is make some skid marks. So I'm going to take the rectangular select tool. Make a pretty thin selection, make it newer, and fill that uh, in with black. And select none. And now you're going to take your perspective tool and sort of just uh, warp it like that. And I'm going to rotate that a little bit. The perspective on GIMP, uh, not the greatest. Photoshop definitely has it better, which is something I think we can, we can definitely improve on. Just because it's such a hard concept, just to begin with, and then <coughs> GIMP makes it a bunch harder. Alright, so that looks fairly good. We're going to duplicate that, and bring it over here, and then that and then like that I guess whoop alright yeah. that looks pretty good now what we're gonna do is take our uh, circle fuzzy brush and you're just going to uh, erase the ends of it just to make it look a little bit more realistic and then you can erase some of this stuff alright um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this smoke so you're gonna go file open as layers and um, I'm using Robot 1K GFX pack. Um, really good uh, pack. It has a bunch of stock images that you can use. Uh, we're going to be using the Atmosphere one, so open that up. And this is huge, so we're just going to put the layer mode on screen. Take our scale tool and scale this baby down. Check the chain. Scale that. We're just looking for like a. You can see the effect right there. Let's see where will it look the best. I guess like that. That looks good. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flame stock image and that one looks good. Open that up. Do the same thing. Put it on screen. And when you put it on screen, it basically makes the uh, black transparent. So you can scale this one down some more. It needs a little bit more. That looks good. Sorry about being a little bit inactive lately. I've been really busy with exams, as any high school student knows. Exams are not fun. That's good. You're just gonna put it so you can see the skid marks, but so that it like blends in sort of. And we're actually gonna duplicate that and then do like that. Just so that you can tell that there's a difference. And I'm actually gonna make the uh, Um, 
now what we're going to do is um uh work on the colors of this image because they're a little bit off. Uh actually before we do that, we're gonna um make the blurred background. Sorry about that. Um we're gonna zoom in. And you're just going to uh hopefully do a better job than I'm doing of cutting this out. Because I do not take the time to do this. Hopefully you'll spend a good around like 10 minutes is a good render time if, you re if you're really serious about doing this, but for tutorial wise this is just fine. We can feather that selection because I do that just awfully. Like that, that looks good. Now you're just going to do edit copy, edit, paste, make that a new layer, and you're just going to drag that down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your background layer, you're going to uh, click motion blur, and you're going to change the length to around 12. That looks good, and the angle to 25. So you're just going to click OK. You're going to uh, zoom out around 100. So that looks really cool. Um, you even have sort of the car uh, blurring. And um, it looks kind of strange with the flames not blurred. So you're going to do a little bit of blur on both. And, and I'm just doing like a three, a little bit, little bit more, six. That's good. All right. Uh, now what we're going to do is do some color collection correction. So we're gonna go, go uh, layer, new from visible, and you're gonna gonna go colors, brightness, contrast, tone down the brightness, boost that contrast. That is good. So you can click OK. Now what you're gonna do is go colors, uh, duplicate that. No, um, yeah, you can keep it. Colors, uh, desaturate. Click OK. And then you're going to take your eraser tool, and on a big fuzzy brush, with the opacity at like 41%, you're just going to erase bits of the image. Oh, no, not that last part. So like that's about good, and it, it, lo it really uh, looks cool. So I think that is good. And you are done with your uh, enhancing an image tutorial. Um, you can really do this on anything. You can even add a flare, which I will demonstrate really quickly because it really is pretty awesome. The flares. So I like Flare 7, so we're going to open that up, and then just put the layer mode <coughs> on uh, screen, and move this, whoop, put the layer mode on, move the active layer, and you can put that like right there, and I'm actually going to desaturate that, and then colors, color balance, and boost up the red. It's a little bit too much. That's good. Uh, yeah. Like right there. Um, that looks good, actually. So we'll put it, like, right there. Uh, you can play around with it, spend a little bit more time than I have, but um, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, and have a great day.